Hi guys, what I'm going to do today is going to uh, show you how you can change the uh, Southbridge board on the Xbox. Um, the issue being that uh, you can't just swap the board because there's uh, other things needed uh, like data and keys that are actually in a flash. So what you need to do uh, before you can actually uh, get it to work is to change uh, or reprogram the flash as well. Two ways you can do it. If you are very good with a, a heat gun, you can actually swap the flash chips over. But bear in mind, they're only about one and a half mil by two mil, tiny. And unfortunately, they're very sensitive to heat. Um, big issue here is if you damage the chip or lose it, then it is a brick. There's nothing you're going to do to get it back. So the safest way is to actually read the chip and confirm you've got the data out of the thing. Um, and then it's easy enough if you've got both the, the boards concerned. Um, I mean, uh, you've got to make sure the chip's good on both boards, obviously, but they, I've never known to fail. Um, and then you basically just uh, reprogram the chip that you want to put into, back into the machine with the data from that machine. The, the nice thing about Series X is the fact that the SSD and the APU are on different boards. Um, you can't do it on the Series S, you can only do it on the X. On the Series S, you do have to take the uh, south bridge off. It's the only way you can do it. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll get this thing apart. Um, this is the working one, so in fact what I'll do is uh, let's get this thing fired up, confirm it works. What I haven't uh, tried is I've actually got two spare cables now to my capture card. So what I'm going to try at the moment and see if I can actually capture the video. Uh, not totally sure whether it will work in uh, 4K, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. So let's get that in. Um, juice. Where's my juice? Is that there somewhere? Ah, juice. Okay. And I think we have a controller here somewhere. Just uh, give it a go. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. All right. Let's see if this thing will come up on the capture card. It may not. Uh, I'm have to go over to the monitor, um, possibly drop it to 1080. Uh, I don't know what it's set on at the moment. Okay, let me just go over to the capture card. Oh yeah, it's coming up. That's fine. Right. Um, so capture card. There we go. So the machines are working. So this is the one I'm going to do is I'm going to place this board in it. Come on. Um, so what I've got to do first is take the data off this machine and put it onto this one. I think possibly I may have already read the data off of these, but I'm going to go through it to show you how it's done, how you, how you can do it. Right, what I'm going to do is just uh, pause this for a sec while I get this machine in bits. All right. Not quite got it apart yet, but I thought I'd just pop back and see where you, what you're doing. Let's have that out. Okay, I'm just trying to work out how much of this I actually need to pull out. Um, I've lost me. Uh, yeah, there it is. All right, I'm be very careful with these uh, ribbons. So I stuck down, which don't help. That's the USB one. Okay, and we put this other one is just the uh, it's just the um, the buttons, but you got to be very very careful of the uh, the little clasp. It's one of those that you have to push down very gently to release. But it's just a little bit of a pain to get to, like so. Oh, okay. Right, that should let us all out. I'm sure you've all grabbed these apart. You don't really need this bit, I know, but... Now we go. One big lump. It's like lifting a VA out of it. 
fucking trans am. Right, okay, so let's get this thing apart and then we'll uh This is the one we're gonna put the board in. This is the one you just seen working. So we need to copy the data out of this board out of the nought and pop it onto the other one. Now I think I've actually already got the data out of this one, but we'll do it anyway. So, unfortunately, it is a top end strip down completely, but you need to get to the nor, which is under that power supply and under the plate that's under the, the power supply. And the other thing I've got coming up to show you is the uh, we've also successfully put one terabytes in the um, yes series S. It's not a particularly hard job. You just got to make sure you get your wits about it because you can very quickly brick these machines. That's the only problem with them. And at the moment, there isn't a way back. If you do, we're working on it. <laughs> Now the reason you can't use the uh, a different type of SSD other than the Xbox ones is because they they are uh, the, the system they use and it's uh, it's Direct Express Direct has so basic the chip it's a gaming design and they are actually uh, bringing the same design into the uh, PCs um, I think Microsoft are bringing it in on eleven and ten. Uh, although it won't work with the existing memory um, if it's M2 you'd have to change it to the same type that's in the Xbox which I believe is going to be on the market reasonably soon which means then we can get chips that will actually work in these things if you've got the right type of chip actually making them work is not a big problem providing that um, you've got the uh, the Xbox file system off the previous chip which in most cases you can retrieve from a, some chips that fail but not all um, if you can't get it and it's failed then I'm afraid you're in, <laughs> you're in the pool again mm, a bit of a crazy idea uh, I don't want to mix two up because I've got another machine in bits somewhere uh, that's on the floor oh, okay I think I've got about three of these in parts at the moment on one box of screws so it should be fun oh I'll pause this again because you don't want to be sitting watching this do you really okay right there's the board and um, let's uh there's your south bridge on the other side um it i mean it's you can just change the chip if you want i mean it's it's a bit of a ball lake because it's <laughs> i don't think there's a i haven't seen any uh um what you call it stencil form and uh it's, depends on yourself if you've got a stencil and you want to reborn it it's easy but i suppose it's just as easy right okay let's get into this uh let's get some of this white out of the way so you've got me like show you where this gnaw is bear with me a moment okay let's have a look right so this is wired in and what you can see there is the brown is pin one the gray is pin two the orange is pin three uh, the ground is pin 4, which of course is connected to the ground on the chassis, so that's not a problem. Pin 5 is yellow, pin 6 is blue. Now pin 7 is a bit awkward, it's that veer I mentioned earlier on. Um, it is easier actually to pick up the point underneath the board, I'll show you later. And of course the supply is on that chip. Um, and that uh, little mark where you can see to the right of the red, that bit of solder blob that you can just see there, that's why I've had to just put a nick through the through that track. There's only one via supplying that whole section. 
Um, and there's a resistor, but I can't find it. It's um, I think the problem with a lot of these early boards, they, uh, they debug, and that's why so many bits are missing. Um, some of the actual pinouts do come out to test points, but they're all over the place. And to be honest, they're only not much different to tacking onto a test point. This does look extremely messy, but I can assure you once it's cleaned, it's fine. So anyway, without further ado, let's go over to, um, uh, so we, what we got, um, Desktop capture, UFBI. Okay. Well, that's actually the NOR. Um, I'm just in bar inquiry. Here we go. There's an inquiry. So you see the data. Tells you what chip it is. Um, tells you the voltage it likes to work out, although we're running at 2.5 volt. So, Xbox version J, so, okay, we'll open that, and we'll go in there, and then we'll save the file as Xbox, um, nor, letter J, uh, number one, dot bin, okay, so, we'll read that, and that'll save that into there, J, yep, so read, Let's read it. So it's fairly quick on this, it's not very big. And we'll do another one, call it two. Read again. And we've got to go and have a little look and make sure both the files are the same so that we haven't got any uh, problems. Sometimes, if you get an error, um, if you check, check two files, check them together, make sure it's exactly the same, the chances are okay. If you've got differences, then you need to look at your wiring, just check everything and make sure that um, they're both the same. Right, um, I'm just going to open this up. Hang on. There we go. So, uh, I've opened one file. We'll pop the... Oh, screw. Hang on. Pop that out of the way. Right, we've got one, so I'll drag number two in. Can you see that still? Hang on. So we've got two files there, we'll now compare. So analysis, data comparison, compare. Okay, um, both files are identical. So we, we've got a good read there. So save that, move that out of the way. Right, that. Um, so that is the file from the said, which is actually a good board. <laughs> this is the file we've got to put on the other board to uh, then stick the board in. As I say, uh, in this case, it would have been a lot easier just to change the NOR as well. But hey, let's make a bit of fun out of it. So, okay, so we've read the NOR. So now we need to uh, write this data into the other nor. So that's what we've got to do very shortly. So what I'm going to do is get the other board out and get it prepared and then we'll do that. Um, as I say, this board is, I think I'll mark this as J. I better just make a sure that I've marked it. Then I'm pretty bad for getting things mixed up. I'll stick with that J on there. It's not much like a J, but it'll do. So, uh, oh, here's a letter J. <laughs> All right, that's on there. Right, so that's that one wired. Um, I've, all I've got to do is just put that link back. And that's done. So I'll now get the other board out and I'll be back with you in a minute. Oh, by the way, this is what I was talking about on the rear side of the board. Um, this is picking up the via of that uh, NOR, um, pin 7, um, picking it up on the cold side of uh, um, R68, as you can see there. 
Okay, so that's that's pin seven. Now I'll flip the board over and put the other. This is the other board. This is board E, by the way. This is the one we're going to um, convert to work on that machine. So technically, I'll end up with two uh, two boards that will work on that one box. Okay, so we've got the board E now wired. So we're going to dump board E. I've done it the same way as Andy up doing the other one, just cut my little bit track. Save so much hassle, taking resistors off and prices like else. As I say, it is quicker to take the chip out. But the problem is, um, if you're not overly experienced with hot air, and this chip is tiny, um, and you lose it or brick it, then it's game over. Because if you, if you lose the chip, you can't repair it. Because it's the data that's in it. This is why I'm sort of going a long way around, but hey ho, thanks for good watching. Right, so we're going to go to the reader um, and we're going to read that chip. So um, we'll save that in S, X, E. So I'll put South Ridge on it. Swap. It's not actually swapping the South Bridge, you're swapping the South Bridge board, so I should say board, but board swap. VLFD. Okay. Right, so in there, we'll save these particular ones. Okay, so we'll save it as that. So here we go. Uh, so we'll read once. There we go, and then we'll rename it. Add a version two on the only number two ago. We'll read it again. Okay, so we should have another two files now the same, which we will check. Uh, he says, it helps a lot to close the folder, I suppose. Uh, Xbox, all right. Uh, Okay, so we got that one. Oh, there is that one. Um, we'll just check these very quickly. So we'll open them up. I'll share the screen in a sec. Oh, Christ, please can't put the screen down there. Finding some strange little bugs in this Windows 11, I'll tell you. Well, one of them is it keeps opening folders, you know, full size. <laughs> you can't see anything. And, uh, right, okay, so we want to go to hex edit. Right, there's one file I've opened. Um, we'll drag the other one in to the other side. Yeah, um, okay. Right. So we've got two sets of files. These ones being off the board that um, I need to put these back when I've finished, these files. Um, we've got a set of files off a working board, which I'm going to put onto this board, so we can then try this, put this board actually into the machine. Effectively, just it's swapping the whole board, so it means I've got two boards that will work on the same machine. But, okay then, well, I'm going to go and get that ready and I'll be with you in a moment. The other thing I meant to show you was the actual difference between the two files in the NORS. Um, so, let's find the software. Um, okay, we'll compare board E. Uh, hang on, let me just share this with you. Uh, that needs refreshing, I think that's great. Yep. Right, that's for board E's nor. Um, we're now going to drop J. Um, okay, there's J. Lots of it is the same, the very beginning, which is the same. But it soon goes very different very quickly. And um, this is a lot of the reason why you can't swap SSDs. Um, this is like a shadow, but it's encrypted, so nobody can really 
really has sort of got into it yet. But they say, look, this is why it starts to be different. Anything orange is totally different. So you can see there's quite a lot of difference in places um, between the nores. Okay. So what we've got to do... Um, Let's just make spring on the screen here. What I've got to do uh, is just drop the program on the other one. Um, right, so what we've got now is J, which is the original, and then we've got E, which was off a dead, well, it's, it's off a faulty board, but it's not the um, Southbridge board, it's faulty. So what I'm about to do is to load J into uh, E's nor. So I'll just set that up. Because uh, at the moment on the bench, um, I've actually got uh, J again. Uh, not yeah, J because I've just basically been re. Uh, I've accidentally <laughs> overwritten the files with E, so I've had to read them again. Long story. Don't worry about it. So there's J. Now let me just bring on the big camera. Hang on. I think see better. Uh, or oh, we will do in a minute. If I'll make some room. And, <clears throat> right, where do we want to be? Okay, there's um, J. I've written J on it. And the other one, <clears throat> which has still got the link, the reader, or the reader connections on, is E. And there's E here. So what I've got to do now <clears throat> is swap that over. So we turn the power off. Because I'm feeding um, the board from a separate supply okay right so that is now all i've done on j is just read the data because <clears throat> that is the working board from the xbox that i took apart earlier on so we'll just stick that somewhere out of the way and i've done this and i've got mixed up and i've ended up tuning two xboxes before now you don't do it twice though right so this is e so i'm going to just connect this back up uh ground i'd say it's a quite a faff to do it really is but um it is so much faster to swap the EEPROM which, as I say, most people will do. But uh, because these are my working machines, um, I'd rather swap the data. So it's, uh, you needn't worry about you having to do all this unless you really want to. I mean, it's, it's fun. Um, but all you need to do is to swap the one chip. But it is a tiny, tiny chip. And like I said, if you have an accident with it, and you haven't got the data that's in it, you've, you've lost your machine. So you need to be extremely confident that you can take the chips off, put them back without any problems. Otherwise, as I say, you could end up losing the machine. Although if you're changing a board to repair a machine, um, this is a different thing. Right, okay, so let's get this hooked up. What we've got to do, we've got to wipe that nor first and then put the, uh, the J's version of the nor in. Right, so I've got to power it up. So we've got 2 volt, we're storing 2.7 milliamps, so that sounds about right. So we're now going to go back to the software. Um, if I can find it. Okay, so. What we need to do uh, is to assume that we connect. So we'll just do a check. Yeah, we're connected. Right, okay. So we're established. We've definitely got back up to this uh, law. So what I need to do now is to actually wipe it. So I'm going to hit the big nasty cross. And here we go. We're actually now absolutely destroying the innards of that law. Well, we're not destroying them. We're wiping them. So, when I read it in a minute, you should see it's absolutely empty. What I'm going to do is read this to the buffer. Read to buffer. Um, read. Um, then I'll display. I think I can do this. If I can, can I? Yeah, buffer. There's the buffer. Now, as you can see now, there's nothing in that nor at all. 
So it's not very, very happy. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we go back to the compiler, sorry, the programmer, and we now need to let's just turn off buffer. Okay. Um, we need now to load up the file we want to write with. So I open the file for writing. So we want to write to J. So there's J. These are all J files. So we'll open that. So that's now in here. Um, we're now going to write back to the file, to the actual normal. So write data to device, yes. There we go. Right, now what I'm going to do now is to read that back and make sure that what we've got is exactly the same. So we'll read that back as I think I'll make that J6 to be safe, make sure I ain't going to write over anything else. Um, J6, yeah. Okay, yeah, that looks okay. I'm going to make sure I don't destroy any files. So, yeah, read. Okay, now we're going to go now to the folder where the files are. And we'll compare them, make sure they are the same. So, what was now E is now J, uh, as in terms of board. If that makes any sense. Um, wrong one. Oh, the dry file. Right, okay, I'll just share the uh, Explorer. Uh, top there is 6. Um, now, if this is written correctly, it should be the same as the other files. If it isn't, then we're going to have to write it again. Uh, like normally, it's pretty good. So, I'll share the X editor. Right, I've just put um, bin 6 in, so I'll we'll drag an original one in, which is 1. Now we'll compare the two, data comparison, compare, and they're exactly the same. So that means we got a good rate. So if this has all been worthwhile and working, I should now be able to put this board, which is the um, if I can go over to it, which is the E board now. That one and it's got the JNOR content. So that technically now should work in place of the other board. This has been a bit of a faff to do it all, but the, the reason I've done it this way is so I can show you and uh, change, move the data about, show you how that's done. But not only that, uh, keep taking these NORs out and putting them back, it does kill them. And I don't particularly want to destroy a machine. So that's why I've done it. It's, bit, it's been a bit long handy, but never mind. So let's get this thing put back together. Oh, uh, leave along with that original board. Put them over there. Okay. One unit. Um, I was going to give this a bit of a, an eyeball, wouldn't I? Just make sure all oh, the uh, yeah, that looks pretty sweet. I've not left the resistors off because I on this is the fur the board that I modified various things and not a habit of forgetting to put things back no it's back cool right let's get this thing in and see how it goes oh, if I keep it there you should be able to see it um what do I want I want them I suppose Well, there's no reason why I can't leave this actual board in here to be honest if it works fine I'll just reprogram that other one as E um, I ain't going to stick all the screws in for a minute i will just put enough in to test it otherwise I should be all bloody night let's get that unplugged um, what do we do bigger 
a big a bloody uh, table, a workshop. Well, I've got a big workshop, well, not a massive workshop, but it needs all refitting for doing this sort of work. It's all jigged up at the moment for doing a lot of valve amplification and guitar stuff and um, heavy duty electronics. Well, I want screws. There we go, let's have a couple of these. I so say, if you're changing the chip, you could have done this whole job in probably. Oh, that's the wrong one. The whole job could have been done in probably 10 minutes, to be honest. Tom, I've edited the video, it'll only be a couple of minutes, probably. I'll see if it'll work, see if it don't, I'll doubt for video, I'll see the light of day. <laughs> right, yeah, I've got all the right screws in there, cool. Right, I'll put a few of them in. That's not that one, is it, it's that one. optimistic here putting all these screws in I really shouldn't should I no, I'm not going to take forever to take all that again I only want to test it it's got two choices should we this point if it don't work though so I've done probably three or four, but I've just swapped the uh, I've just swapped the um, noise over. Better have this in as well. Put it up the other way. Okay, sell that. Yep, come over here. Um, okay, where's the other bolt? Oh, there they go. There's one. There's the uh, serial port. We'll pop that bag in. I want. I'm gonna have the. I want to go on the Nexus socket. I always manage to get this one out about face. Um, pins facing upwards, isn't it? That bit, that bit, that bit, that bit. I'll pop a fan just there for a moment. Like so. Um, well, I've got everything plugged in. They say what? Could be something missing. Probably not. Right, so. Uh, Take the capture lead. Oh, I don't think that's going to reach. Um, I'm going to have to do a bit of doofy doofy here. Hang on, I've got to find a, uh, an extension for that. Then I can pop it straight up on the screen. Oh, that's a juice cable. Now we've got a. Ouch. Oh, bloody PS5 is there. Off 
I think I've got about eight of these bloody Xbox X's here. Oh, had the same problem. And um, that was um, dying of. Uh, oh, what do I want? Don't want. Dying from uh, SSDs dying. That's only about two inches long. Um. All right, I'll have to try and move move this about a bit. It's only a little bit shy of reaching, isn't it? So I'll put it out for a second. It'd be funny if the board itself is faulty because it's not a board I've actually used and that's gonna look strange oh, come on you stupid plug you came out the sodding hole Power juice leak on. Oh, oh bloody how's that gone? Oh, look. didn't explode and look at that <laughs> it works so there you go that's swapping the um, Southbridge board but you must swap the North That's it. So I hope that was of some interest. And um, I'm going to now edit this thing, which is probably going to take me a lifetime. And I'll uh, speak to you also. Thank you. I'd be rather surprised if it didn't. Uh, oh, look, it's my hand. Hello. Um, which camera are we on there? I haven't got a clue. That one, it's on the overhead. Um, that must be... Oh, that's the other. They've got uh, PTZ cameras, they move. Um, they've got a little tiny thing I picked up. It was about a quarter of the cost of the big one I use. And this amazing little bit of kit. And, oh, ha! Ah, oh, well, it's found me. A 70 year old T 
tech engineer that looks like Wurzel Gummidge. Still ain't as ugly as Coda. Uh, go back over the overhead. Yep. Well, I think that'll do for a minute. I should probably edit most of this out because it's a load of dribble. Okay, right. Let's have a wee tidy up here. Put those out of the way. You know what I was going to do, and I, I, I didn't, and that was to try using the little CH341 programmer. You know, the ones that... Uh, Oh, it's only about 12 quid. I've still got the other board wired up. If you like, I'll do that in a minute. And uh, we'll see if it uh, will read. I'm sure it will. Okay, so we'll just pop that out of the way. Just to let that go tack off. And I want to give that a good visual in a minute. Make sure that's good. Um, I'll grab the other board and I'll see if it'll work. On this um, not cheap reader. Well, it's the this is the good board. This is the one that's out the machine that was working. Well, I'll pop them on there. Right now, oops. Just make sure none of these wires have come off. It's a single stranded wire. It's it's quite good for this sort of thing. It's normally used for wire wrapping. No, I don't mean singing. Alright. Let's make sure I pulled that off. That's good, I think. Cool. Right, so where's that? There it is here. Um We don't use a supply I'll tell you what. <coughs> I've got one that's modified because as you know, there's a, a mod form to convert into three volt. Or 3.3 on the signal um, as they come standard they 5 volt which could possibly damage an ore that's only running up sort of up to 3 volt um, the mod for these it's all over the place if you look uh, for the CH341 voltage mod it's only a, cut, it's only a bit of wire there it is there the one I've done uh, what it does you just swap the one of the pins on the chip to the 3.3 instead of a 5 volt and that's what that red lead is here um, I don't know if I'll focus on it I'll just move that out of the way there you go that's that red lead here and um, you lift that bottom pin off there as I say it's I think if you google it you'll find it and it's easy to do so what we'll do we'll give this a try now the SPI is the socket nearest the USB and the pin 1 I believe is nearest the noddy yeah so I don't remember which way around I've done this now um, pin 1 is brown I always use colour coding resistor colour codes for wires to numbers um, so that should go in that side and then that one's got no supply on it because we're putting the supply in ourselves five is the other is five so that's like that okay that's in right so we need supply on the board from the power supply 2.5 volts uh, the thing is, doing it the way I've done it, where I cut the board, you could actually use the programmer to, to probably power the chip because um, it it will work at 3.3 volt, but make sure you've done the mod. Don't run it at 5. That will hurt it. Um, and it, it should work. Let me see if I can find, I can find an extension lead for... There's not going to reach over here, is it? Uh, I mean, here must be... There we go. Um, I try, I've never tried reading the um, the noise on the 
Xbox with this little thing. I tried it on the, uh, the what you would call it, P uh, PS4, it works fine. Right, let's go into the hub, so USB 3. Okay. I'm going to go into that. So it's just an experiment to see if it'll work. Oh, it's doing something. Um, right, we'll close this one down. Let me find the software. And I'll... Um, I'll uh, share the screen. I'll find where I put the damn thing. It's Neo, isn't it? It's called. There it is, Neo. Okay, move that out of the way. Over there. And we'll see if this will work. It might, it should do. I'll look for what you may. Uh, desktop, Neo. And share. Alright, that's the Neo programmer software. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to have to put some juice onto this, otherwise, I ain't going to see it, is it? So we want 2.5 volt. 0.186 milliamps, that's not very high. Um, let's see if it'll just find the chip, detect. Yeah, there you go, look at that. That's pretty good, isn't it? Select. Um, so that's selected. Let's uh, try read. Read I see. Looks pretty damn good to me. Well, I'll do, I'll do a save and I'll compare it to a dump we've done from the other uh the other reader so uh, save um no important documents drive d upf uh, xbox series x um that's that's j so j j j that's the original board so this is CH341, CH341, uh, nor Xbox, nor really, uh, 341, Xbox, nor retest in. Okay, so we'll save that. Okay, let's go another nosy and see if it's all work. So what we'll do, uh, go to the folder. And I'll be here in a second. Uh, share. Windows Explorer for a minute. Right, so that's the one there I've just done. That's been being read from the little CH341. So I'll pop that open and um, share. Hang on, I've got to share the editor. Okay, let's see if they're all the same. See if we've got any orange. So far, no, that's damn good. So, there you go, you don't need a thousand pound programmer. <laughs> They're all seven pound programmer and they do work well, but do do the mod, set it up for 3.3 volt, not five, because that uh, certainly is going to damage the null. Right, let me just hook this out the way and we can get this other thing put back together. off right so that's the original board I'll leave that with that program at the moment that's the original board now there's all I've reprogrammed heavens knows it's here somewhere let's go back to the camera uh, what do we want 